door is locked, you'll see it's supposed to be a glass door. Uh, yesterday, being the weekend, uh, hubby was whippersnippering out here. Uh, I'll put a picture up there for you to check it out. Um, and, and I'll do a little bit of video footage as well of that. The door needs replacing. Put it that way. Um, so along with the patio that you guys if you've been around for a while know that the patio got uh, crushed by the tree so we now have a wooden door for the next few weeks until that gets fixed so guys today's Monday um, I had sleep in this morning I've just just been feeling really tired and a bit burk so um well I wasn't asleep and it was more of a lay in I woke at seven and I hung around in bed till about nine o'clock so um but today I'm just gonna come out I've got a I didn't do any watering yesterday you can see it's overcast again today um but today I'm gonna come out and see what needs to be watered and if I need to water anything and that is this morning's task then I need to go back in the house and decide um you'll have to excuse all of this stuff it's the patio um then i'm going to decide when i go back into the house what we are going to be having for dinner um and before i head down to the veggie garden after i check out the herbs that are, herb section at the moment um i'm going to head down to the i'm going to head back in the house and we're going to grab a harvest basket and um, my harvest apron and then I'm going to head down to the garden because yesterday um, I bought a heap of zucchinis in and I know there's a couple that should be ready to come in again today. So um, so we're just going to check these guys out and see if they need any water. I am still carrying around my morning coffee. All right. So this is my herbs garden that is happening at the moment um it is all just on this frame that also got crushed as well during the tree falling down i have some awesome awesome stuff going on in here um i'm going to be plotting a lot of this up sooner rather than later and um all of the greens that are in here have now gone i do have a video on how I uh, dehydrated and powdered those. So guys, I will put a link to the dehydrating list for you guys so you can check that out or I'll put it down in the description as well. So um, on Saturday after I finished my bee course, yes, bee as in bumblebees, honeybees, I went and did a introduction bunny uh, bee um, course that I went and then look at this burridge um then i went and um, to this nursery that i've been wanting to go to and i've got these uh lavenders i actually harvested the dry um spent flowers off of them because these were on special because you can see they are not looking at two crash hats so and ended up getting um four of those so there's another one there and along with this giant awesome huge strawberry plant i actually ate one of the strawberries while i was in the nursery and you can see it's already got new shoots um, but one of the store the strawberries i ate in the nursery was about an inch long and it tastes so beautiful so i went you know what it's 16 dollars for this plant and i wouldn't normally buy that for one little strawberry plant but i went you know what i'm gonna get that plant it's healthy it's growing strawberries um, it will probably spend a bit of time in that pot before I plant it up. Um, it's also got the new shoots runners off of it. So um, it's going to spread really quickly. So, um, But as you can see, there's a fair bit here. There's more than what it looks because I'm using these water trays. 
to keep them in. Um, so there's about a, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe 12 of the little um, pots in here, so like this one. And they're sitting in here in the water trays because I'm finding that they really dry out really quickly. So, um, but yeah, so there's all sorts of edible herbs and medicinal herbs is what I'm at. And um, as you can see, and also edible flowers as well. This bor borage, this is a white borage. Um, and you, these flowers are edible. And I was munching on these yesterday, but I think I might leave these here. And when I make my salad for my dinner today, uh, or my lunch, whichever it happens to be, I'm going to add these to it. They're actually not a bad flavour. Um, so you can see there's all sorts of things in here. Dandelion. Um, I have a wild dandelion here in my yard. Um, but yesterday we mowed, so a lot of them got mowed down. Um, echinacea, violets. Um, what's this one? Uh, this was one of my new ones I got, which is the Fivifu. So we have got a lot going on here. These guys need a bit of water, so I'm going to get on and I'm going to grab the hose and I'm going to give these all some water. that you have for color mine tea i'm getting a few off of here a couple each day so i just pick them off it's only the one little plant i've got here so when they bloom properly i just pick them up so i've only got three today so i'll go and put those with the rest i've picked this flowering here is the coriander. I am waiting for this to become coriander seed so that I can save coriander seed for the herb garden. My thyme, you can see, is flowering here as well. These tiny little flowers. This will look beautiful when it's all flowering. Um, I have a video on how and how I dehydrated the thyme and the. I think I did the coriander as well. And I'll link that down in the description for you um, as well. But these have come back really good and I'm happy with it. So, all right, so I have to watch where I'm walking around here. Where did I put that coffee back down? Ah, right, there it is. Um, so I'm going to grab my stuff and we will head up to the main garden. So just so I quickly show you, these are the lavender buds that I picked um, and they're sitting here to finish drying. Um, I did rinse these so the smell is not as strong but I'm hoping that um, 
when they dry off because they're still a bit green that the smell will come back as well so um, just naturally drying these and just keeping an eye on them moving them around and just keeping an eye on these oh, so we're going to get out the back door this time so you just get to see a little bit of the other side of my house because the area under the greenhouse that I normally have all my gardening stuff got crushed along with a lot of my gardening stuff. Some of it sits here now. Um, things are in some crazy, crazy messy places. Um, I was partway doing some weeding with my cart and it got left there. But yesterday hubby did a whole bunch of whippersnippering and um, things are looking a little more easier to walk around. What on earth is that thing think it's doing? What do you think you're doing? That is not a rest place. That tree there is your rest place, naughty cat. Um, so up here, it's just all uh, gone to seed. Uh, a lot of stuff up here has gone to seed. Haven't done anything up here yet this year. Um, maybe I'm working on it at some stage. Through here, a little walkway. Moochie! Moochie Poopy! He's getting old and not happy to be around people, even his mum. So, through here, there's a fair bit happening in here. Uh, these are the capsicum and chili plants, and, ver uh, and an artichoke over in the far corner there. So, they're just going to check if these guys need some water and Yes, they definitely need water. We got some capsicums in here, little ones, and these are awesome. Um, you can see there's still some ch green chilies on here as well. A couple of red ones in the back there. Um, what I've done is I've set up a water system out here. Look at all these little red chilies. These have turned in the last 24 hours or so. Um, I set up a water system out here where I use the, the scoops and water everything in here by hand because I don't have a hose that actually is dedicated for up this area yet. We have in the bathtubs, there's four bathtubs, are the strawberries and the, um, what do you call that stuff, uh, rhubarb and the rhubarb is coming along really nicely giving a bit of shade to the strawberries this is the first strawberry plant that went in so I am um, oh look what I found oh isn't she pretty ladybug oh, eating all the aphids for me awesome job gay mate um, so you can see that all the flowers almost on a daily basis um, getting strawberries I think I got four or five out of here yesterday here we go there'll be some more in a couple of days another day or so and here we are the ones I got out of here yesterday um, I spotted them when I was mowing and I just grabbed them and as I was mowing the back lawn up here I just ate them as I went so these here are my really sad looking tomatoes Everything up here needs a watering, so I'm going to grab the hose to fill these up because the hose I use is for the retic down there, which means disconnecting and bringing it up here. But um, I'm going to do that and fill these up.
so the dripper hoses are on in here they're doing it really well for this area with the dripper hoses but my first stop for some harvesting are those chili plants so once they turn red you can leave them on for quite some time um, but then they will start to basically dry out on the bush and if they dry out on the bush don't throw them away you can save those seeds and put them put them aside to make chili powder with or use the seeds for the following year I have got a green one but that's okay because it will go red sitting in the basket I'm gonna sorry the bowl I'm gonna put them in let me just move this to here. I love this. It's on a timer. So it will turn off if I don't get to it. So we're just going to get the rest of these red ones. They're quite little still. Um, but having it chilies at the beginning of November sorry at the beginning of yeah well it was november i was harvesting them and it's now the beginning of uh november december so how we're just gonna see what's in here some more chili and i'll leave the green ones to go red these are a cayenne chili pepper lots of green ones on this one which is really good because I actually cleared these plants and um, I've got a video on how I repotted some of these and how I've pruned them back after being in the greenhouse during winter and so I'll link all those videos about the capsicum and chili plants and how I've got them this time of year. See this also makes a great watering hole for the cat and any other animal that requires some liquid. Are you going to stir your water today, Gus? Gus likes to stir his water. Are you going to stir it? That one's cleaner. It hasn't got as much dirt in it. You need me to move the pots. Here it goes, it's going to stir it. Yep, he stirred it. Now he needs a drink. He is a strange cat. Alright Gus, we are going to take our harvest basket and head on up to Melon Ball patch because I know that there are some things to be harvested down in there. How pretty does my lawn look now that it's mowed? Alright so here we are in Mullenball Garden and you can see this beautiful yellow zucchini happening here and uh, I'm going to pick this one. I'd like it a little bit bigger but I think if I leave it too much longer um, I'm either going to miss it and not get it. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. No. Do you see what I just did? I hit this, this little female zucchini here. She would have just been pollinated today. Never mind. She becomes compost. All right. Let's have a look what else we can find. There's another one, not quite big enough. Lots of, lots of them happening in here. These, these are the yellow zucchini here. This is yellow squash here. That's why they look a little bit different. Um, so, or uh, patty pan, if some of you might know them by. <coughs> I know this one, excuse me, had some happening 
yesterday look at the size of this one happening this is not ready it, it's still a bit green though I have harvested them this way before this is the main difference between a um, sorry I'm, I'm combating the flies and not falling over with a, <coughs> uh, a zucchini and the paddy pan squash has these tendrils <coughs> and they tend to try and climb so it's kind of a weird thing but they look cool so you can see there's a fair few in here can't wait to be eating those and there's a flower hiding here so what I do when the flowers hide behind the leaves is I just take out when I find the right stem I take out that leaf so now the bees can see it and come down and pollinate it check this one look at this beautiful oh picture perfect look at the size of that and these are still young yep so in here there is supposed to be um, I'm gonna have to plant some more out these were um, Getting a bit tangled up there, Mr. Watermelon. Uh, okra, uh, first time growing okra, and the bugs seem to be loving them in here as well. So these were all okra and watermelon. Um, I had snail pellets in here earlier in the year, so there's dead snails. The watermelons seem to be doing okay. Same in here. And what I'm doing with these watermelon is, because I planted four watermelons, one in each corner, I'm trying to just basically get them to go their side out, not somebody else's side. And down the back here, these are the four uh, green skin, I think they're called, zucchinis that I normally grow. And you can see they love it here compared to the yellow ones which are the front row where my basket is and I know that there's a few zucchinis in here from yesterday from hunting and you can see this is the pumpkin that I put in with them it is also doing really well as well all right let's take a look I'm gonna take out so I pretty much take out leaves just about every day um, when I come in here it really does help it doesn't have to be the new old leaves it doesn't have to be the new leaves it's just any leaves oh there's one down there i must have missed this one yesterday so what i love this was a present from my son and his partner it's like a swiss army knife so it's got blades and things on it and secateurs so i can have both open and use both ends so this is not too bad a size and there's another one over there, but it's not big enough. Ah, uh, look, don't worry about ants in your garden, guys. They are pollinating the flowers for you as well. Now, this one is where I managed to miss a couple of zucchinis that got really big. I'm going to take this big leaf out here. Ideally, you need to cut them back as far as you can, but if you can't get all the way in, don't stress too much about it. So you've got some more nice zucchinis coming up there. Now, I usually just drop my leaves on the ground. Um, it kind of helps bugs to get that far and not into my plants, and um, it doesn't worry me if it's sitting there. It'll just compost down. Take this big one out of here so I can see what's going on. Lots of zucchini happening in here and lots of pumpkin happening in here. These ones are still a bit small. There's another one here ready to come in. you 
out of there. Right. All right, I'm very careful not to cut the male flowers, which is right next to this one. I know it's hard for you guys to see how I'm actually cutting these out of here. Um, so I'll give you a quick explanation. So basically you want to cut them off um, a good inch if you can. If it's not an inch worse there, just try and cut them so that they have some of the stem there. If you break them off here, um, some people twist them out. I always find that they split all up here, which means their shelf life is going to reduce quite a bit. Um, so I like to cut mine out. Now I'm putting mine in my little pocket here on my apron. This apron is specifically, I have a few of these for this kind of thing. Um, I made a bad mistake one year of doing it with a really nice skirt. And I'll move my knife. The sap that comes out of these will actually, it's a lot like oil. And it's actually stained my really nice blue skirt. So it's now not a nice blue skirt, it's a paddock skirt. I'm actually tempted to take this yellow one out, but I think I might leave it till tomorrow. It's almost, almost to the size I like them, which is about like hand length, maybe a little bit longer. All right. So I'm battling with, well, I'm not battling because I'm not even worrying about it too much. There's powdery mildew. Put those in there for safekeeping. Um, so what I am going to do, while I've got my cutters, is I am going to cut out some of these infected leaves and throw them out onto the lawn to break down for fertilizer. Some people tell you you need to put them in the compost, but I do have a video that covers this. That will be out soon, and I will link that in the bottom as well. It's a little more detailed whoops, than me just cutting these off. And probably this big yellow one down here. And I might go with that one as well. And that little one. Uh, oh, and there's another one here that's got yellow on it as well, so we'll take that out. You can see all the juice on that there. That's the juice I'm talking about that gets stains your clothes. Okay. So it looks a little bit healthier. It still has powdery mildew. Um, this one's got a couple leaves on it as well. You can cut quite a few of these leaves off before you start to affect the plant's growth, but it will just keep growing new ones anyway. Here's my big black bug. He's not getting to the veggies this year. Why? Because <laughs> he can't get into this section here. This is going to be the new uh, um, orchard. What up, Mr. Sukilala? What we might do, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the zucchinis that he doesn't like. Um, but I might add just a little treat for him. Grab one of these. Grab that one. Uh, these are the beans before we move on. There's still no flowers. These are dwarf beans um, in this couple of different varieties. And the weed garden. This was a project I wanted to get done for this year to use this area, but it just um, just has been slow going. And where's my knife gone? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the zucchinis he doesn't like. I know he likes either cucumber or zucchini, and I'm not, I don't remember which from last year. But we will take this one. This is still usable and edible. Maybe I should be harvesting this one. Yep, I think we'll take that one in as well. I've just spotted that one. Sometimes you gotta look at your plants from a different direction to see what's going. 
Now I do like to pick them when they have their flowers on them still. Um, I like them nice and young and tender and that's why I like them this size. Um, I use them all sizes um, as you'll see as time goes but you need to pick what you think is perfect for you. Right. Oh hey Gussie. You come to check out the zucchinis? Uh, he's still standing there. This is what he does when he knows I'm in here. Grab the basket and we will take a quick stroll across this little paddock. Hello. Probably shouldn't eat the red things because they're not tomatoes. He loves tomatoes. I have a zucchini, yes, in my pocket for you. Do you like the zucchini? Was it the zucchini or the cucumber that you liked? He's turning his nose up to it, so I think it was the cucumber he liked. You want it? Hey, you're a rat bag. Look at you. Hey? Hey? So it's definitely the cucumbers he likes. Um, we have no cucumbers at the moment, Mr. Fatty Pumba. So we are out of here. Alright, so this is a bit of a different view from the garden for you. Walking up from this way. Um, that is all there is to harvest today. Actually, gonna go and take a quick look at the passion fruit vines um, and passion fruit up here. I am, I did mow in here. I am harvesting passion flower to, because passion fruit flowers have medicinal uses as well. So I am harvesting passion flower. I've probably got about six or seven already. I know, guys, you're going to tell me, but what about the passion fruit? But the amount of passion fruit I got off here last year and canned, and you can see there's already passion fruit growing, um, was phenomenal. So this year I'm going to look at preserving the passion fruit flowers. All right, have we got any more? There's still heaps of passion fruit here for fresh eating. Take a look on this one. See, there's more here as well. So you can see they're quite sparse in their leaves. Um, some of the, it died back a little bit over the winter with the cold we had, but um, as you can see as well, this is some young new growth and it's, the fact that it's got passion fruit on it already um, means even though it looks a bit shabby, it's doing okay. All right, so I'm just going to check from the outside as well. Looks like I might only get one flower today. Be careful where I'm stepping in my jungle. Oh, there's another one. I'll let the I'll let the honeybee finish doing what he's doing. Oh, there he goes. He got his breakfast, and uh, I get the flower. Gus is still following me around. He tends to do this when the dog isn't here. So, can we see any more? Passion flower, look at all that passion fruit that's sitting up the top there. The bees have done a good job doing that, so I'm not worried about picking the flowers. Oh, there's another one. You want tummy rub? You want tummy rub? You want tummy rub? 
You want a tummy rip? You got a bull ant on ya. Well, an ant. Oh, better stop now. Hey, I don't like time lobs for very long. Because he'll then bake me. Put them in there. Take our basket. And uh, head back inside. the shop which is a disaster zone that's a project to be done to the disaster zone laundry to the disaster zone kitchen okay so now that we're back up in the kitchen I'm going to I need to sort out what I'm doing with all my zucchinis harvest And so that's the zucchinis from today. You see there's some rubbing from where it's hit so the, the box that they grow in. Um, this may, uh, just means I have to use it really quickly. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And this is what's left from yesterday. I used some in a bake yesterday. dinner and I need to get these out of here my passion flowers so we ended up with four uh, four passion flowers and I'm gonna pop these on here the last few I did I dehydrated them in the dehydrated these ones I'm gonna try doing naturally as well so I'm gonna let them dry there. And the, the easiest way to get these chilies out is just to tip them out. Mm, they're still stuck in the bottom there. All right, that's all the chilies. Now I'm put my gorgeous half basket away. This is not another one of those projects where I want to redo the handle. And these bikinis, I have decided that I'm going to make a pie, depending on what mince I find in the freezer, to whether it's chicken, beef. I know there was turkey mints in there. <coughs> I'm dropping my zucchinis. Um, so it'll be a zucchini and, and it's something hot. But at the moment, I'm just going to give these guys a, a rinse off. And then the rest of them, I am going to, uh, I'm going to preserve. So guys, I have done a dehydrate, well I'm going to dehydrate them and I'm pretty sure I'm going to shred them because I'm pretty sure I've still got lots of diced zucchini from last year. So whatever doesn't go into tonight's dinner will be shredded and I have a new cool hand shredder thing here that I picked up for like $5 from the op shop. This thing is awesome. The handle comes off, the blades come out, and you can change them. There's three different blades, and it all just pops together. It actually sticks to my bench as well. Well, the bench over there, it does anyway. And then you put your food on the top, and you have it come out the side here. So I'm loving that thing. So I'll be using that to quickly shred up um, the zucchinis. If I was doing you know, 10 zucchinis at a time, I would um, just get out the big machine and do it that way. But since I found this and it's really, really easy and I'm not doing 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, I've got eight zucchinis here. So some of these littler ones will go into, excuse me, I've got the hiccups now. Um, 
these little ones will go into tonight's pie. If you guys want to see that recipe, I will link that down in the bottom for you. And I'll put a link on the side here to head on over to the cooking channel. Um, I'm keeping them separate so that you can check out whichever channel you want to check out and not check out whichever channel you don't want to check out. Um, so there's this main channel and I'm going to be doing a little bit more vlogging on this one with the garden. I think that's the easiest way to do it. There will be in-depth videos on different ways. I do stuff here in the garden as well, but then you can head on over to the cooking channel and um, so check out, to be down in the description as well, the links to all of them down there as well. You can head over to the cooking channel or the preserving channel as well. So. Um, so if you want to check that out, that's what you're going to have to do. But today, um, this may be the last bit of today. I don't know. It depends on how I go for time before I head to work. If I get started in the um, shop because I will need to sort that out and rearrange the shelving and do a heap of stuff in there. So, But I might actually put that up as a separate video on how, what I'm doing in there. So, I right guess So that is it. Don't forget, uh, if you want to head, check out what I'm doing for dinner tonight you'll have to head on over and check out the other video. Till next, next time I see you, thanks for hanging out. See ya.